I find tiger salamanders crossing West Texas and Arizona roads after rains. Sometimes I find them crossing the roads in dry conditions. It's a wonder these delicate, thin-skinned little amphibians can thrive in dry, rocky terrain with cacti all over the place. But they do. <laughs> I often stop to shoo them off the road, a gesture they usually don't appreciate. After handling hundreds of tiger salamanders over the years, I had no idea they can secrete a painful poison from their tail. I have heard if you eat them, you might feel sick and foam out your mouth like a psycho, but I was never curious enough to test this theory. About 30 minutes after relocating this little ingrate, a slight burning sensation developed in my eye and escalated pretty badly. I suppose if a doctor asked me the pain on a scale 1 to 10, I'd say a solid 7. You gotta go that way. Go on. But it was 1 in the morning in the middle of nowhere. I stopped at a rest area and flushed my eye with warm water over and over. Big mistake. I found out later that you want to flush your eye with cold water. The warm water opens capillaries which just take in more poison. The pain burned like fire for several hours, but by sunrise it was completely gone with just a little swelling. All salamanders can produce poison and toxicity varies widely between species. Though many more times than not, they won't secrete it unless they feel threatened, and you can't blame them. They have sensitive, semi-permeable skin, which means you might be poisonous to them. If you have bug spray or any chemical on your hands, they will absorb it. If you wash your hands before and after handling a salamander and don't eat one, you shouldn't have any problem. Who knows, perhaps that little West Texas dude that got me is telling his buddies about how I poisoned him. <laughs> <laughs>